Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to hear is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Bus evacuation drills. They're here to protect your children in the event of an emergency. Washington state law requires that each student participate in emergency exit drills at Highline School District. It's important to know what to do in case of emergency. Practice drills are held on school property only. They're conducted with only the bus driver administering the procedure. No school personnel may aid the practice procedure on school premises. Please use all emergency exits if the drill is performed on school property in the school bus zone. Procedures for emergency exit drills are as follows. Secure the bus in the school zone. Set the parking brake. Place transmission in neutral or park. Shut off the motor and remove the key from the ignition. Explain to the students that they are required by the State of Washington and Highline School District to participate in emergency exit drills and it's very important to know what to do in case of emergency. Explain to your students the location of your parking brake and if possible ask a student to push for release of the parking brake and pull to set the parking brake. Show your students how to cross their arms and place their hands in the seat back in front of them. Place your head in the crossed arms and share with them that it protects their eyes and ears. Allow time for students to follow along and be sure every student participates and understands. Point to the location of the first aid, mess kit, and CPR shield. Explain how to properly remove and open the items from their location. Show the location of the fire extinguisher and how to remove it from the station. Explain how to use the fire extinguisher. Assign a responsible student to get the equipment out of its harness and get it ready to use. Remember to instruct the student to point at the base of the fictitious fire. Explain to the students they can call for emergency help. Show them how to use the two-way radio on board and that it is directly connected to Highline Dispatch. Point out the location of kick-out windows and explain the operation of each emergency window, door, and roof hatch. Show the student how to operate the roof hatch emergency release lever. Also show the students how to release the lever for the door and how to open the door from the outside. Some service doors shut with left side overlapping. Push on the left side panel to open. Share with your students that their personal items are to remain on the bus while performing the emergency exit drills. This is to simulate a real life situation and to keep their hands free while exiting the bus for optimal safety. Explain how to assist each other jumping out of the emergency exit. Each student should slide out on their bottom. When the lead to student slides out, ask them to assist others by standing at the exit with hands open and palms up. Have the rest of the sliding students place their hands on top of the lead student's hands. Emergency vehicles which are headed to an emergency situation will not stop for the bus stop paddle. Students need to be asked to get back into the bus or move quickly and completely off the roadway. Students should not use a cell phone while performing a practice emergency exit drill. This may cause an interruption with your communication and service to them. So be sure you have all their attention. Your presentation is very important to your students' safety. The story you have just seen is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs>